Well, it's that time again. It's been a while since I went on to AliExpress. I actually was not planning on making this video right now today. I was just kind of bored. As I'm recording this, just to put a date on it, Horizon Forbidden West launches tomorrow, and I'm waiting to midnight to play it. And I was like, I guess I'll just peruse the internet. And I found a few things I wanted to buy, and I figured I would film it, and we'd try and find more. To start, I found a carrying case. Oh, and it comes with a charging stand? Hold on. This might actually be sick. I also saw this, which I'm not going to buy. But you guys remember, we did an Etsy weird accessory buying video. And I actually unearthed this BMO unit that someone made on Etsy. And after I made a video about this, it blew up online on TikTok, YouTube, everywhere. Sadly... It wasn't my video that blew up. <laughs> that doesn't matter. What matters is it looks like AliExpress also saw that blow up and thought, well, we could make that. It looks like they're marketing it to babies. What baby is like playing the switch on this thing going, yeah. You know what? I wasn't going to buy it, but now I kind of want to see how they made it. Oh no, now we have to buy it. These videos get so expensive. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Both of these are monthly Japanese subscription boxes. Tokyo Treat is filled with exclusive and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks, such as Japan exclusives like Kit Kat, ramen, and much more. So this month's box is Sakura themed. This thing is good. I don't know what it is. It yeah, tastes like it's been fried. Do you have a guess what it might be? No. And if you're wondering what anything is that you get, there's little booklets that come with it that tell you exactly what you're eating, what's in it, what it tastes like, and more. Yeah, it's syrup. It's uh, in syrup. Okay, that's why. Oh, it's kind of, yeah, they call it like a donut bar. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah basically. It's a donut. Sure. It tastes like a yeah. donut. Sakura Ko is filled with traditional Japanese snacks from Japan's local artisan snack makers, but they're both delivered straight to your door from Japan. Every month is a different theme to keep things exciting and fresh. What's your little dinnerware thing? Oh, yeah. We got a little plate. We're collecting these. I know. You've got a plate and a cup. We got a plate and we got a little glass. And this time, <gasps> we got a bowl. <laughs> Oh, that's really cute. The Fanta tastes like peach yogurt. The Pocky was in shapes of little hearts and tasted like cherry. So if you want to try either of these boxes, click one of the links below and use code BEAT'EMUPS to get $5 off your first box. This is the best both yet. I've mm -hmm. liked everything I've tried. I'm going to get fat. What? I've, no, you don't want to... Click the link below. I also found genuine Pokemon toy set, toy pocket monster, Pikachu, Charmander, Mewtwo, Lunal, and scroll action figure anime model children's toy. But apparently they're genuine. They're like transforming Pokemon toys. Like, look at this Mewtwo. He's so buff. I guess we'll get the Charizard. Next, I've just been wanting to buy these for the longest time. They sell Pokemon cards on AliExpress. A whole booster boxes, but they sell them for like $15 a box. So you know they're not real. They have pictures of all these different, you know, X and Y, Shining Fates, but then you're in the option is to buy now. That is so dodgy. I don't know what is going to arrive from that. I found these cute poor Joy-Cons. Oh, it's a silicone skin. Oh, that's not as exciting. Maybe Kim will like them. Or maybe I'll like them. This caught my eye. Cyan Me Switch Dock TV Dock for Nintendo Switch Portable Docking Station. USB-C 4K HDMI compatible USB 3.0 hub for MacBook. For MacBook what? Sorry? MacBook Pro? What caught my eye though is just that it's a little mini dock. So I guess we'll see if that actually even works. But that's everything I found. So let's see what else we can find. They've made a carry case for the Ring Fit. What is that image? <laughs> my God. They've taken pictures of the item and they've photoshopped the flat images into their case. I'm not buying it. Wood, you're not buying it. Oh, God dang it. Oh, those clever bastards. I don't know if you guys have seen this going around, but that weird poppy plastic stuff, it's like therapeutic and addictive. It's like the new fidget spinner where the kids are going around pip pip popping all the time. Someone had the brilliant, the actual brilliant idea of turning that into a switch case. I do actually like that. It looks so weird when you cover up everything other than the screen. All right, I'm going to grab one. Okay, 
I zoned out and went into a coma where I was just talking to my editor. I found a few things. Let's take a look at them. I found a grip. That's not a satisfied grip, so it already sucks, but it has a fan built into it, which I've never seen that before. We've had a look at fans that like stick onto the back of the console, but none that are built into the grip. Wait, don't tell me. It's a waterproof switch. Do I dunk it in water? <laughs> switch light game console cover case DIY transparent protective. Oh yeah, it's just a transparent shell, but it can't be waterproof. How can a shell be waterproof? Oh, God dang it. Giant case that you can apparently stand on. It's $44 though. I'm going to tentatively put it into my cart. It might get removed. This does say specifically for the OLED. I don't think it matters though. I think it would fit any Switch. I mean, I actually think it's kind of stylish. I can actually see me walking around Brooklyn, hanging out with Bob with one of these. Like a little Lego Switch. Whoa. So the TV alone is 140 pieces and it's $12. And then that, it's $70? How big is it? 633 pieces. So like that's an example of a 600 piece. Maybe if I go to the store, they'll have a cheaper option. Oh, okay. That's not as bad. Oh, boy. It better be a one for one replica. I think that's good. We have a lot to look forward to. An estimated late March, probably later. See you guys soon. It's here. <laughs> Wait, sorry. I mean, see you guys soon. It's here. <laughs> I think that was funny, but see you guys soon. Okay, now I've clicked like four times. All right, delete all of this, Zach. Let's <laughs> We're gonna start with this one that's left on the table because this is the little Charizard that we got. I'm so excited. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's already not the best quality, but we haven't got to the Charizard yet. Oh, look at that. Looks like a tangerine. Now we go to work. Wait, where's his head? Mine's got no head. All right, where's these instructions? Oh, he's got like a whole head. Where is it hiding? So this was $9, which is not bad for a Pokemon toy. Ow! Off to a great start. Oh, his back opened? I was never good at Transformers when I was a kid. Well, you know what? It's actually really good. I mean, as advertised, I don't know what to tell you. It doesn't feel like bad quality at all. It does what it says it does. You can even kind of sit in it as a little display piece. That's $9 well spent. Good job, AliExpress. I never doubted you for a second. I lied. I did doubt them. These are the Pokemon cards that we bought, and there is no way that these are real. $15 for a booster box. Shining Fates didn't have a booster box, so the picture on the website is a fake. Well, now I'm just very confused. Wait, this looks so real. Obviously, it's fake, right? And obviously, I mean, obviously it is. I just dropped it. Dang it. The effort that went into this is actually pretty cool. I mean, as cool as being scammed gets. Oh, these are so fake. So I've actually been waiting to crack this on a live stream because I stream card openings on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash beat'em-ups. But for the sake of this video, I think we have to get a pack out to compare. I might get them mixed up. Now I don't know which is which. Even to the untrained eye, one of these is clearly fake. Which one do you think is real? And which one is the fakey dakey? Oh. They just like printed these out on their computer. They feel laminated. Oh, the shiny pull rates. We got a shiny Indeedy and a shiny Cinderace and a shiny Toxicity. Toxicity, toxi tox Toxicity. I never know how to say that name. Flotzel, Yanma. Oh, a shiny Rillaboom. The Pokemon opener in me wants to go through more of these but maybe i'll save them for stream actually so we're one for one here aliexpress oh sick this is the mario kart live home circuit accessor access accessories <laughs> make myself look stupid if that's not how you spell accessories but i don't think i'm having a brain fart right now it came with a little rubber attachment you slot 
Oh god, if I can. Over the top of the front of the cart, and it gives it some protection from when you bump into stuff. Who's that avid a Mario Kart Live circuit player that they bought a rubber silicone grip to protect the front of their Mario Kart? Rise up. There are literally dozens of us. <laughs> and there's even a protector for the camera, which, to be fair, actually, it looks like I might need. Because I'm now realizing I've completely scuffed the top of my card. I'm guessing at some point I flipped it or maybe one of the cats got a hold of it. So if you're looking to keep it protected, this probably isn't a bad little idea. And then this charging base. I love this. That's actually really nice for displaying it too, because it tilts it forward. Only $16. I love AliExpress. Obviously, this is also a charger, or is it not? Maybe it's just a stand. I swear it called it a charge stand. What got me? I didn't read it thoroughly which I feel like is by design, but it shows the car going on the base and a charge cord coming in towards, and it says for more convenient charging, which I assumed meant charging. That's really convenient. I'm not even sure how it's more convenient, but finally we have the actual case that all these fun accessories came in. Oh dude, the actual case is a car. All right. I love this. I love this. It actually feels really quality. There's even grips on the bottom of the stand to keep it from slippy sliding. That's really cool. I don't think this is official Nintendo. I mean, they spelt accessories wrong on the label. It kind of lied to me, but I guess not really. So for what it said it did, 10 out of 10. Good job, AliExpress. You're crushing it today. Oh, I've been really looking forward to this. It's the silicone case with the poppy bubbles. I really hope that this works. Oh! <laughs> It was really weird. I think I talked about this when I was buying it, but I kind of hate how small the screen looks now. It's kind of hideous. Now the real test, does it pop? I mean, kind of, because the switchback's in the way, it just kind of presses in on itself and then slowly rises out. It's not what I wanted, but it's a different kind of satisfying. I'm kind of about it. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. I mean, it's really good. What did I get that's so, t oh. <laughs> but it's the portable switch dock. I kind of like that I have this because, uh, Nah, I couldn't really think of a reason, but we'll try it out and see. Never recommend, ever recommend using a third party dock. But here I go, I guess. All right, it's throwing. So there you go. Yeah, I mean, it works. I'm not really even feeling any delay. It actually looks pretty dang good. In a pinch, going to a friend's house, not wanting to take a whole dock, this little thing, this is actually pretty good. I mean, I don't know about any long-term effects, so I can't really recommend it, but I mean, off the rip, and it's a 10 out of 10. Like, it's actually really good. AliExpress has nailed it with everything this time this guy. So for $20, we bought AliExpress's version of this BMO, which again, somebody made on Etsy and 3D printed and it blew up. And then I guess AliExpress thought, well, we can do that. It's gonna be interesting to compare the quality. I assume theirs wasn't 3D printed. It was not. I also want to say, I'm assuming that's the order around that this went. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this was first and someone else thought, I can 3D print that. Yay, be more! Okay, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat, this one didn't come with the faceplate. So when the switch isn't in here, you have no option but to just have it be empty. That said, and I hate to say this, I do kind of like the AliExpress one more, which sucks. I feel bad. I mean, this one is 3D printed. This one's actually been machine made with plastic. So it just inherently to me, it feels more official, even though it's very clearly not. And we bought it from AliExpress. But there's a couple other reasons why I like it. It's much thinner and also a little bit taller. But the reason why I like that is even this opening here is thinner. On the 3D printed one, there's a lot of wiggle room and I never really loved that. Sadly, I'm actually impressed. <laughs> what is this? Oh, whoa, this is cool. I don't remember buying a big 
Ow. Okay, so I did buy it, and it cost $55. So this might be the most expensive thing in the video. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is actually really nice. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so quality. Oh. Oh, that smells nice. <laughs> so this would slot... Oh, that is nice. And then it gets a nice soft padding on top. Oh my god. Oh, this is for Switch Cuts. So you can put Switch Cuts all in here. And you can even put Joy-Cons in here with the dog bone. Oh yeah, they said you could stand on it. I'm not wearing socks, so don't get creepy about this. I mean, yeah, I'm standing on it. And I'm spinning. Yeah, that's tough. That ain't breaking. Yeah, they actually, uh, they're not lying there. I mean, I think it's worth 50 bucks. If that's what you're trying to get out of it, I think it's worth it. Replacement shell? I didn't order a replacement shell. I know that changing the shell for a Switch Lite is so hard. And that was too long of a project to slot in the middle of this video. That was a waste. Oh, yeah. The iPlay charging and cooling service grip. Oh, I like this. Beat em up, satisfy grip, move aside. This is actually a beast. It's really big. This was $23. It does barely fit the slightly larger OLED model. Anything that helps the Joy-Cons get a bit more grip is way better than just using the Joy-Cons. But they're not positioned in the best way. They shoot down really low. Low? What did my accent just do? Low? I would still say it's more comfortable than not having anything. That said, this has tripled the weight of the switch but it does come with a charge cord so let me try turning it on okay there is one thing that just happened that made this quite a bit cooler <laughs> pun not intended if i press on the fan comes on but it doesn't charge the switch if i press it again it's charging the switch right now and the fan is still on and then i press it again everything turns off it doesn't need to be plugged in which does make this infinitely more cooler and it does explain why it's so freaking heavy the only thing i would say is kind of pointless is as always it's not necessary my switch is never overheated i've never been playing my switch touch the back and gone ah the heck is happening here it has a really crappy flimsy stand that is definitely going to get broken eventually but it does theoretically work kind of a cool little product but zero out of ten don't buy it go to satisfy.com and buy one of their grips now i've been putting off this one because i've been staring at it wondering why i bought it what did i expect it was going to be twenty dollars apparently i'm made of money and can just throw it away well oh, this also smells really nice. Oh, you know what it smells like? Nostalgia. Zach, leave this in. This is normally something Zach cuts when I go on tangent. Zach, I need this. When you were a kid, did you ever- Yeah, I mean, it's a- Oh, whoa. I mean, why not, I guess? But they've added these strips to put switch cuts in. When you were a kid, did you ever have those giant foam puzzle pieces that you like build an entire play mat out of? And I think they even had letters in them. Do you remember the smell of them? For some reason, I do the nostalgic smell that as soon as I smell it, I get transported back to being seven years old. Oh God, that's a good smell. You could put 26 games in here. Oh! Huh. So you can put the dock in here, the controller in here, the wristband in here, and then the leg strap in here, and then the ring fit around it. Maybe you're doing group ring fit with a friend. You take your whole set to your friend's house, and your ring fit for an hour or two, you pack it all up and you come home. That's actually kind of cute that I'm sure nobody has done. <laughs> I've been really excited for this though. Oh, I don't remember buying any of this stuff. We had the backpack that I was very excited about. And then we have cat paw themed silicone Joy-Con grips. I'm not sure if it's going to fit because the OLED is slightly bigger. Come on. Give me on. Ever so slightly wrong. And of course, this for the OLED is irrelevant. That's so cute. 
Woods. I actually really like this. I mean, it's not for me. I would definitely not personally rock this on my Switch. But I can totally see someone having this. I like it a lot. Honestly, yeah, no problems. I could play games like this. The little paw print handles actually add a really nice and comfortable groove. This is really good. This is good. Yeah. Yeah, this is so cool. It's just a really cool little backpack. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. Oh, this is actually really sick. But then you just put your Switch in there. There's more than enough room for extra Joy-Cons in there too. Dude! I mean, all of this was really... Really good. The only thing that was bad was the Pokemon cards, and we knew those were going to be fake from the get-go. Oh, where's the Lego? Oh, no. The Lego never showed up. It says the Lego is stuck at the customs border. Oh, that sucks. That was $50. I was excited for that. These videos take a while to edit. If the Lego shows up before the video goes out, I will add something in with that. All right, Kim. I know we've sat down to film a video, but we're not filming that video yet. We're gonna warm up. It's an Etsy video. Get ready for it by opening this, which is technically for the last video, uh, which is the video that they're still watching, but you don't know about it. The Lego finally came, so I'm just gonna open it now before we film the other video. Oh, wow. This is how it came. This is There's the packaging. No photo? Oh, There's no photo wait. of it. Oh, oh. Yes, oh, oh, God, okay. I oh. thought there was a <laughs> complete figure out on your own. Okay, there's a QR okay. code. I don't know if I'm doing this ever. I'll do it. You will? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right, Kim still thinks that she's going to make this Lego before the video goes up. Oh, I don't think, I know. It's been days. In case that doesn't happen, I wanted to at least see what the instruction process looked like. I just scanned the QR code. Mock building, it's like a whole website of honestly not bad looking fakey dakey Lego designs. <laughs> Was the QR code just for their website to yeah. buy more? This son of a gun really came with no instructions? Uh -huh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Our building instructions is PDF file. Please contact us and tell us your- e How did we not wow. read this? We can send you the instructions in time. Uh -huh. Well, there's no email address. <laughs> it came without a box, came without packaging, came without instructions. You have to request the instructions, but you can scan a QR code to buy more things that presumably will also not have instructions. For fun, I want to open one more pack of fake Pokemon cards at the end. Rowlet, another amazing rare. Another shiny in... That's like almost exactly the same as the first pack. These videos are easily some of my favorite to make for the channel. If you enjoy them and you want me to buy more stupid, weird, and apparently actually cool stuff, make sure to uh, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell even. There are so many of you still not subscribed and you're watching the whole way through this video. Clearly you wanna be here. Bye.